today we have a juice off. So I'm so excited. One of the big questions I've been getting lately is, hey John, what's the best single auger juicer? So we have the horizontal single auger juicer here, and this is the actually the Omega 8004 model juicer, and right here next to it we have the Omega VRT 330 model, and this is the vertical single auger juicer. Now they're both single augers, they run on the same principle basically, you put the produce in there and an auger goes and crushes the produce and then compresses the space that it's in because it runs into the screen smaller and smaller and smaller until literally the juice is squeezed out. But which one is better? Well, you know what? Which one is better depends on what you want to juice, and that's what I find, found out using both of these machines. Each one has its pros and cons, and only you can decide which one will best meet your needs. So for example, I'll go over some of the differences right now. So first is the warranty. So the warranty on the Omega 8004 and 8006 model is a 15 year warranty. Now that's the longest warranty in the juicing industry. On the Omega Vert juicer, that has a 10 year warranty. Now, you know, 10 years next to 15 doesn't sound that long, but you know what? 10 years is still, you know, the second longest warranty in the juicing industry. So 10 years is still a long time for the warranty. The other differences are basically how the juicers work. So for example, this one has a feed chute that's, you know, a circle and about this large, and this juicer's feed chute is a crescent and it's you know, a little bit larger overall than the diameter of this. So that means how fast can you feed the produce in the juicer is dictated by the feed chute. It's also dictated on how fast the juicer can accept the produce in. So as you put the produce in on the Omega 8004 juicer, there's a tiny auger that basically chunks off a little piece of a carrot at a time. Whereas on the Omega Vert, the auger is a lot larger. And let me go ahead and show you that real quick. We'll pull the auger out of this. Here's the large auger, and as you can see, as the produce comes in here, it spins around and literally chops off a pretty large piece. And on the Omega 8004, for example, as the produce goes in, it goes in like this, and, the, and it spins, and then the, it's cut off. So a much smaller piece is cut off at a time. So what this translates into is that it's gonna take less time to juice a similar amount of produce in the Omega Vert juicer. So if you know, you're know you worried about juicing taking a long time, the Vert's gonna be a little bit quicker. But on the flip side, in my opinion, in my experience, the Vert takes about twice as long to clean. So twice as long might sound like a long time, but you know what? The Omega 4000, 8004, excuse me, takes me about under two minutes to clean. So this juicer takes me under four minutes to clean, and four minutes is still, you know, a really quick cleaning time. Some other juicers, you know, take a lot longer than that. So let's go ahead and reassemble these juicers. So those are the, some of the basic differences. Now we're gonna get into the differences on juicing. So, you know, if you ask me, hey John, what juicer juices wheatgrass better? Well, I'll tell you the honest truth based on my experience. This juicer will probably extract a 10% higher yield than the 8004. But that being said, when you're juicing wheatgrass alone in the Omega Vert, it tends to make some squeaking sounds. Now, all juicers make some squeaking noises when juicing wheatgrass just, be, just, just because of the consistency of the wheatgrass, but the Omega, Omega Vert seems to make a little bit more squeaking noises than, you know, say the Omega 8004. So if you want to juice wheatgrass alone, I'd probably recommend the Omega 8004 juicer. If you want to juice wheatgrass along with something like, you know, some cucumbers, for example, or some celery, then if you're juicing wheatgrass with a combination of this, so you put a little wheatgrass, put a little celery, put a little cucumber, then you won't have the squeaking noises. So that's the differences on the wheatgrass. The next difference is actually that the Omega 8004 is not just called the Omega 8004 juicer, it's actually called the Omega 8004 Nutrition Center. So besides juicing, it has a whole range of other features. You could grind you know, whole coffee into ground coffee. You could take frozen bananas and make frozen banana sorbet, or raw food is called that banana ice cream. So it's a great substitute for eating high fat ice cream, eating 100% banana sorbet, which is what it really is. You can do other frozen fruits, such as strawberries, and mangoes and pineapple and even raspberries so it's really good a good way to get more fresh fruits and vegetables in your diet specifically fresh fruits in this case for desserts 
Uh, this will also allow you to make nut butters. Uh, you know, for example, putting roasted peanuts through here will make a nice a peanut butter. You can put other kind of nuts in there too, and it'll you know grind that up. And, and since the Omega 8004 is so powerful, it'll literally grind up it, it's like almonds, for example, it'll grind up into almond flour. And the reason why it doesn't come out as a butter is because there's not enough oil content. So you can add some almond oil back into that powder to make that nut butter that you're used to buying in the store. So this has a lot of other features, whereas this Omega Vert Juicer is just a juicer. It doesn't have any other features. It's not designed to do any of those other things. The other difference is that the Omega Vert Juicer, if you want to juice fruits, now don't get me wrong, the Omega 8004 will juice fruits just fine, it's that the Omega Vert VRT 330 Juicer does a lot better job at juicing fruits. It accepts them a lot quicker, so juicing is a lot faster. It also, in my opinion, based on my tests, get a, gets a higher yield, so it extracts a higher yield. I mean, in this juicer, and check out my other videos on YouTube for seeing, seeing this in real live action, you could juice cherries with the pits. Now, don't try that on this juicer. You're going to break this juicer if that happens, and it's not going to be under, covered under warranty. But if you juice cherry with the pits and something should happen, it's going to be covered under warranty. I've done it many times. Works with no problem. Other fruits, too, you know, juice really well in the Omega Verb Juicer. So let's do it right now. We're going to juice some pineapples in the Omega Verb Juicer. And let's just see how fast and easy it juices pineapples. So you want to push the pineapple in, you only ever want to use the pusher when you're pushing produce into the Omega Vert. And look at that, it literally just sucks the pineapple in. I don't even have to push it in. Out this side comes pineapple juice, and out this side is the pineapple pulp. And one of the things on the Omega Vert juicer that you could do, that you could also do with the Omega 8004 juicer is, once the pulp comes out, if you think it's still a little bit wet, and it is a little bit wet, you can dump it back through the juicer. And what will happen is it'll go in and the juicer will squeeze out more juice out of that pineapple pulp. So I've done this on mangoes, for example. You know, I fed the mango pulp in about three times, and then by that time the mango pulp was really dry and it wasn't even worth feeding it, feeding it through the juicer again. So in the Omega Verb juicer, you could juice the pineapple core and all. Actually, the core is probably really good. It's nice and hard and uh, full of good nutrients. So as you can see, we're almost done juicing one whole pineapple. We have approximately three cups of juice so far. And let's see how much uh, juice one pineapple we yield. I think one pineapple is going to yield about four cups of juice. Now, if you've never tried it, fresh pineapple juice is so delicious. It's nice, rich, creamy, and frothy. Much better than any canned juice. And while I'm talking about canned juice, you know, we want to be drinking fresh produce, juices made out of fresh fruits and fresh vegetables. It's a lot more nutrient dense and rich and has all the enzymes, whereas juices from the store and store bought juices have been pasteurized and they're missing a lot of the essential nutrients. And as well, you know, juices that you make fresh taste a lot better. So that was it. That's how easy it is to juice pineapples in the Omega Vert Juicer. So let's go ahead and uh, switch this out real quick. Next, we're going to juice kiwis. Most people think of kiwis as, you know, they would never think of juicing kiwis, but I, I like to juice kiwis. So all you literally need to do is cut the kiwis in half, and you can even leave the skin on there and all. So most people don't know that you can actually eat the skin of kiwis. Most people just don't like them because of the texture, but it's totally fine to eat. So we're just going to dump the kiwis in there. We're going to make 100% kiwi juice. Have you ever seen kiwi juice for sale at the store? I don't think so. So let's go ahead and juice some kiwis. And once again, you know, with the Omega Verb Juicer, it's really easy to juice kiwis. Now the same thing on these kiwis, we cut them in half. Now we couldn't fit these into the Omega 8004 juicer. We'd have to, you know, quarter them instead of cutting them in half. And you always want to let the Omega Verb Juicer run at its own pace. You don't want to just try to start cramming fruit in there faster than it can accept it. The the juicer needs to kind of work through the produce. So as with the kiwis, you know, it does take a little bit of time to feed them through so you get maximum extraction. The other thing that's really important when you're picking produce to juice, you want to get nice and firm produce. You don't want to use any overripe produce like soft apples. They get too kind of mushy. And the juicer to work oftenly really likes nice firm produce.
So the reason why you maybe go with the Omega 8004, which we're going to just juice in one second, is if you want to maybe do straight green. So say you want to make a juice, and I don't necessarily recommend this, of 100% collard leaves. That's where the Omega 8004 would shine over the VRT model. This just handles the leaves a lot better than the VRT. So the VRT is definitely better for the fruit. For the combinations, like if you wanted to juice carrots, which we will juice in a second, carrots, celery, cucumber, and greens, I'd go with the uh, VRT. The reason why is that, you know, with juicing carrots in the Omega 8004 juicer, you know, it just doesn't really work that well. The vert really handles the carrots much, much better. So we're almost done here making the 100% kiwi juice. And now let's go ahead and turn on the Omega 8004 juicer and we're going to juice some, some greens. So we're going to juice 100% collard leaves there. Now we're going to put some cucumber in there. And now when I make my green juices, I like to use a, a base. And my base is usually of cucumbers and celery and green juice. And when you make green juices, you want to make a green juice that's 75% base. And the base being, you know, celery, cucumbers, or carrots, and, you know, 25% of the juice being greens, dark leafy greens. So you can see here we have some cilantro. Cilantro is really good to juice. Let's put that in our green juice here. So both these juices are really good. They both run at the 80, low 80 RPM, so it's going to oxidize your you know, juice the least out of most juicers on the market. Most juicers run at a lot higher RPM. They're both good for greens, but you know what? The, I think the VRT is a little bit more versatile in the sense of, of juicing a more wider variety of fruits and vegetables. There are some exceptions. So now we got some spinach here. Do some straight spinach into this uh, Omega. 4,000 juicer. I think our kiwi juice is just about done. So you can see here we have a nice cup of kiwi juice. Now this is nice, rich, and thick, as, as will be most fruit juices. Let's go ahead and dump a couple carrots in here. Now always when you're juicing green juices, you want to use some apple because the apple will make your green juices sweet, especially if you're not used to drinking straight green juice. So because of the smaller feed sheet on the Omega 8004, it does take a little bit longer to juice. But the cleanup is easier. <laughs> so you know, it's kind of a toss up. So the question is, John, you know, if I can only buy what juicer, you know, one juicer, which one should I get? Well, in most cases for the average person, I would recommend the Omega VRT 330 juicer. It's a lot more basically um, forgiving, especially on a wider variety of produce. So, you know, things like carrots, it juices a lot easier than on this. Fruits, it does amazing at fruits. It's probably the best juicer on the market today to juice fruits. So, it's a lot more versatile in juicing, but, you know, once again, the 8004 has its benefits. If you're juicing straight greens, probably this is the way to go. If you definitely want something easiest to clean, this is probably the easiest juicer in the world to clean. It takes me under two minutes. Actually, it takes me a minute and a half. Um, this is it. You know, it's pluses and minuses, and you have to figure out the best juicer that's going to best meet your needs.